Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity mod. So our mortal enemy Providence has been defeated, so today that leaves us with three pretty hard mini bosses. So I gave these mini bosses a little go yesterday and I just botched them and, uh, and I never really gave it a full attempt because I was kind of just kind of, you know, hyped up because I beat a boss that I really didn't like. So, I thought we could go over them today and give them all a really good go. Now, I saw a comment. I actually saw this from a few different people. And I thought I would answer it because, you know, it kind of gets said a lot. So, I saw this comment that kept popping up that was kind of like, why doesn't Chippy know about a radiated rain? So, there's this thing in Calamity where there is a radiated rain once you get to post Moon Lord in Revengeance mode. And the reason why I didn't know about it is because it's new and I've not played it yet. So, you know, as you guys may know, and you guys can kind of clearly say, and I kind of said it at the start, like, like this is my learning experience world. Like, I learn everything I know about Calamity from this playthrough, from reacting to your comments. So I don't know about little things like that because I haven't played it yet. Like, I've not got to that point in the game. I don't play the mod when I'm not recording. Like, it's a recording playthrough kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, I love the mod, and I love playing it every day. It makes it makes recording every day really fun. I love Calamity. I think it's great. But it doesn't mean that I'm playing it when I'm not recording. So that's why I never knew about a feature that I just encountered that had never happened at any point in the series before. And I kind of thought I would, you know, maybe give, like, a little, you know, uh, response to it. Because I know the kind of people that leave those comments still watch anyway, despite that. So it's all good. Right, Storm Weaver. You can only do damage to its tail. I didn't know this yesterday. I had no idea. But uh, you can only do damage to its tail. So that's something you have to kind of look out for. I've, oh my god, I've got no magic pots. Right, okay, let's go over to the house. Okay, so once you hit the floor, it will leave you alone for a second. Right. Oh, there's no place to buy magic pots. Why are all my NPCs freaking out? Oh my god, this is going terrible. Jesus. Leave me alone. <laughs> Now all my NPCs are dead, and I don't have any mana regen potions. All right, okay, maybe I am a moron. You guys are all right. <laughs> yeah, all right, okay. We need a serious jump cut here. I need to go make some potions and stuff. Oh, my God, right? See you in a second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back, and uh, I just went on to another world and got my mage combinations because I kind of thought, well, I'm not going to make them. <laughs> Much easier just to buy them from another alchemist world. Am I right? So, yeah, this guy you can only do piercing damage to. Which is a problem. Well, no, sorry, right? Okay, let me repeat that. You can only do damage to its tail, which is a problem when you're a mage because it's kind of hard to like fire at him, if I'm honest. And then also, I noticed when I was I was testing the uh, the fight out a little bit, if you don't, um, oh my god, I got caught in these little flames. If you don't, how does it work? Right, okay. What am I? What am I saying? Oh my god, if you don't hit it in its tail with pinpoint accuracy, it will negate piercing damage to only one tick. So essentially, like, the reason why I use this weapon is because it's really good because I'm only doing one tick damage, if that makes sense. Otherwise, like, piercing is limited. So yeah, that's that's why I'm kind of doing that. Right, let's fly over to our little uh, sky rail. Okay. Buff up again. Let's you know, swap over some stuff. Oh, that's probably one reason why. Okay. That's a really good reason to, as to why I'm probably not doing more damage. Get over there. Right, okay. Yeah, these flames are a little bit annoying. I kind of need to, uh, to figure out a way to get rid of them. But yeah, if you're on the ground, it doesn't attack you. If you're in the air, it starts, like, homing in on you. So it's kind of like one of those, like, red flying things during the, uh, the solar tower. You kind of need to treat it like that, which is a little bit annoying. That's okay. I mean, this fight so far is alright. I mean, I've tested it out off camera before I did this uh, little recording. And I, I've had problems with it. Okay, where's it at? Okay, where's the tail at? It's To be honest, the main problem with it is... The hardest part of it is admittedly just those little... Uh, it's those little things that, that spawn out of it. They're the ones that do the most damage. And then also the flames obviously don't help. But you have to kind of stay stationary. But it's kind of hard to stay stationary when there is this many things popping out of it. Okay. Swarmer it up. 
Let's see if that will do anything. Okay, it's doing nothing. We might be able to get some mana regen here if I'm lucky. No, okay, right. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on because I'm having problems with that boss. I don't feel like that one's designed around a mage a lot, to be honest. Do you guys feel me on that? Do you get what I mean? Do you get where I'm coming across with that? I don't know. I don't feel like it's it's very magey. That's all right. Okay. So I also took the time today to start scraping out a part of the dungeon to do uh, the next fight in, and I and I tested this one out, but I found that like once again I kind of wasn't powerful enough. And I'll show you guys where I'm going wrong, and maybe you can help me in the uh, in the comment section down below. But I'll show you. I'll show you the fight. I'll show you where I'm going wrong. You guys can help. I don't have cadence potions though. That's my only concern. So I am down 100 health, but not too much I can do about that. Okay, so I'll show you anyway. One sec. Let me heal up. Let me get away from the lunatic cultist. Let me just run away so that it doesn't spawn. If I get down here, it should be deep enough to uh, to get it to leave. Is that it? Is that going to stop it? It probably should. I, I can still hear the music, but that's probably good enough. All right, let's regen up some health. And then we'll go back up there and fight it. But yeah, there's there's so many minions that pop out of it. We, we kind of showed it yesterday when I was kind of just running around for a laugh. But um, yeah, it's kind of tricky to do both. It'd be cool if I, I could make a system that would cut down like that. Actually, you know what? I could make that. It would just kind of cut through the world a little bit so I could kind of uh, move away from it and move into a larger area and kind of flip through. So I might do this down here like this and see if that will still let me uh, fight it. Or is that just going to go straight down to nothing? I don't know. I don't know if this counts as taking it out of the arena or not. We'll see. Oh my god, there is kind of a lot of world to, to go through here to get to another part of the dungeon, isn't there? Alright, that might actually be a problem, if I'm honest. I don't know what counts as taking it out of biome. Obviously, this is going to take it out of biome. But I don't know if it actually uh, like lets you take it out of biome. Alright, okay. You know what's going to be easier for this? Kill these off. Get my boss fight going. Okay, and I'll just show you guys what I mean. So, you've got these little things. And these little things aren't too bad. It also does a home... Like, it does another attack. Which is that blue orb thing. So, if you're kind of building health, this ain't bad. But they do kind of stop in place. Like, the knockback from this uh, from this one weapon is pretty good. So, it kind of... If you can bundle them up, it does actually keep them in one place. And they are good to, to build health off. In this first phase, at least. Alright, so let's... Let's cut through these. Okay, now let's go on to this. So already you're kind of limited. But then now you've got to kill all of these things, right? And there is a lot of them. Like, these things are just in such an abundance. Like, it's actually kind of mad. And I don't know if you're actually allowed to take it out of the dungeon or not to make this a little bit easier, this part. But running through the dungeon does kind of help. Because then you can kind of cut them off for a little bit and build your mana up. But even still, I'm just dropping so much health all at once. Now, I haven't actually tried the hell part of this fight yet, so... You know, that could be a lot different. But yeah, just running through the world seems to do something a little bit different. But they are fast, that's the problem. Making them go down, though, is pretty good. But kind of keeping them on the up is a bit hard. I might see if I can take them out of here. No. Okay, I've got no chance. That one is really hard. You cannot build an arena big enough for that, because... Of those giant orbs, there's no chance of like, you know, you're gonna have to destroy all of your dungeon to do that fight and be able to move around a lot. It's kind of like a mad brain of Cthulhu in a way, right? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and try. I'm gonna go and try the hell one, just to see what that one's like. Cause I've not done that one yet, so I've, I can't even remember what that is. If I remember, it's like a little bird or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what that one's like. I'm excited to uh, to look at it. But I hope you've all been well. I've, I've been seeing comments about... Uh, I saw a few comments yesterday that was kind of like, Hey, bring the t-shirts back. That did make me laugh. And uh, and like I mentioned the other day, people that bought them should be now getting them as we go into September. So that's really, really cool. So that did make me laugh. And then other than that, I've been kind of uh, spending the past two days kind of scoping out what PC upgrades I want to do. So 
I spoke yesterday how I eventually want to take the show to 4K, so 4K quality. That'd be something that's definitely on the dream list. And so I've been looking at parts and stuff that I can upgrade and tweak to make that happen. So that's been going pretty well. And uh, and I've been looking at... This is kind of unrelated to quality and stuff, but I thought this was really cool. So I use the PC case at the minute, which is called... Uh, for context, if you do know cases, it's called an S340 by NZXT. It's a really, really nice computer case. And they've came out with a sequel to the case that's actually really good for people like me. So I own a, uh, a VR headset. I own an Oculus Rift. And they've designed a computer case where it's like a normal computer case, but it has extra ports at the front of the computer for VR. And it comes with a little extra holder so that you can attach the VR system, the Oculus Rift, to the side of your computer to rest. So I thought that was really, really cool. I thought that was like a really clever idea. So that's just something that got me excited. <laughs> as something that really interested me. If you like computers or if you can understand that a little bit, I'm sure you guys will agree. That's a really nifty feature. Like... That's pretty handy. I mean, people are really innovating for uh, the VR, and I can appreciate that. Is it just me, or is hell a little bit harder today? That's fine. Right, Rune of Cos. Okay, what's the Cygnus. Okay, this one's called Cygnus. It phases, and it's purple. Alright, I do remember this one. I always look at bosses, uh, the sprites of bosses, because I always try and figure out which ones I'd like to use in a thumbnail. So I've seen this boss. I can't remember what point it was at. I'm thinking of Bumblebird, aren't I? The bird, the bird thing? I'm thinking of Bumblebird. Okay. This fight's pretty cool. I like this one. See, this is kind of the, the level of, like, difficulty I expect from a mini-boss that's only giving me boss materials. But this should... They might have a, an extra recipe that's going to drop from this guy that's going to make us an extra weapon. And I'm beginning to think that's the case because... There's certain things that drop from the one in the sky that upgrades your shadow, uh, your shadow beam staff. So, you know, there is that. Okay, where's it at? I can't even see this thing. Oh, it does kind of phase into map, actually. Oh, okay. I should probably, I should probably boost health off of this guy now. If I can. The problem is it's kind of hard to boost health off because I keep picking up mana crystals. Okay, it's got a charge attack, which is quite cool. Oh, God. Where are you coming from? Oh, this is hard. Oh, that's the charge attack there. Okay, let me boost off health. Come on, let me boost health off it. Come on, let me lifesteal a little bit. Come on, Cygnus. I could do with a win here. I've been disappointing... Please give me the win. Okay, I've got 19 seconds left. Is it best to... Alright, okay. I'm going to go all blazing. I'm just going to use my mana. Oh, it was worth it. <laughs> I feel like if I'd have just kept uh, trying to steal life, I'd have lost... Really? Really? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can get over that. What's a Cosmo Lamp? That sounds cool. Twist and Never. Cosmo Lamp. And it won't let me see what's behind it. It looks like a... Galaxius, but I have no idea. Okay, let's go down there. <laughs> I didn't expect a ragey moment at the end there. Look at me. Getting killed after boss fights. That's two in a row now. <laughs> right. Well, with this, I hope that we can make something new. Admittedly, I do hope that we can make something better. Because I don't feel like... Right, okay. I feel like the dungeon boss has a bit too many minions. And the dungeon is one of these places that have to be really messed up to make an arena out of it. You have to really ruin your dungeon to make a good arena out of that. And then the sky one is great and all. But it's kind of also counterintuitive in the fact that, like, you have to stay on the ground, but it will burn the ground. And if you try and dash around, those little head things attack you from the side. And then, yeah, that's, that's kind of my thought so far, I guess. We'll, we'll see as they develop. Okay, right. So, what did I get? I got a Cosmo Lamp, 250 summon damage, summons a Cosmic Lantern to fa fight for you. That's cool. Okay, well, I can kind of appreciate that, to be honest. Look at that. That is mad. Can you have more than one? I imagine it's just the one. Um, well, Let's see if I can make two. Oh, I can make two. Oh, cool. Well, I can use uh, summoning potions then. 
I can wait until my uh, my little uh, potion guy's back and then, uh, yeah, and then do some summons and stuff. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Right, let's try it out with that little summoning thing. Let's see how different it is. With no potions... Oh, I should probably use some potions. Well, I should probably use potions anyway. Right, let's try farm this one out. Let's see if we can get any kind of different loot. I just kind of want to see how the summon stuff does. Okay. That charge attack is really cool. Like, it gets really, really fast. And I kind of like that. Okay. Right, where you at? Where you at? I kind of expect it to keep teleporting around. I don't even know if it is teleporting. It just it disappears on my map. Okay. Yeah, I like its different phases. It is quite cool. Okay. Going well. Building mana is a bit of a pain, but it's all good. Come on. Yeah, that, that the charging phase is pretty brutal. Kind of looks like a big hippo mouth, if I'm honest. I know that's not the vibes they were going for. You know, they didn't sit down in a boardroom and was like, hippo mouth, make it happen. <laughs> that's the vibes I'm getting. Oh my god. Alright, okay, I don't know if... Oh, okay. Don't die this time. There you go, boy. There you go. Alright, so where's my loot? Okay, well I got those. Where's my other loot? Do you not get multiple loots? Are you serious? Are you for real? Oh, I got bloodstone there. Right, backing off. Before I get killed. Okay, right. So, let's use the nurse. Let's have a little look at this. So, twisting never. Let's see what these do. Right, so it does make it does make the cosmic worm as it always has. You need armored shells. Those are dropped from the sky boss, right? Dark plasma. I haven't got any of those yet. And then the what is this? The Sunian trident. You need five phantoplasm, one twisting never, and an inferno fork. Now I've probably got an inferno fork. So let's go and try this one out. Let's see what we can make of this. So, weapons. Alright, I do have an Inferno Fork. Do I have the Phantoplasm, though? Okay, so I have... No, that's never fragments. Where's my Phantoplasm? Unless I already have it around me. Phantoplasm. So I have none? So have I used it, then? <laughs> I can't remember where on earth the phantoplasm went. But we did have some yesterday. I may have used it yesterday and then being a moron right now. Did I use it yesterday? Hmm, okay, right. Well, let me go quickly get some phantoplasm. It's from the dungeon anyway. And then we'll uh and then we'll craft some it. Alright, I'm back. So I'm just looking on I was gonna do this in a jump cut, but you know, never mind. So I'm just looking on the Wikipedia page, right? And it says that you mix bloodstone with uh, with phantoplasm and you get yourself... Um, oh my god, this is a bit too hard, isn't it? Right, maybe I should cancel the zerg. Where's the zerg? Right, call off the zerg. So you mix phantoplasm with uh, bloodstone and you get bloodstone cores. And then you can make a whole new armor set with bloodstone cores. So I think that's probably the next armor set that the game wants us to go to then. If we're having problems with these bosses... That's probably the best case. I can't exactly remember. Is Bloodstone from here or is it from... Right, okay, it's from here. Right, it's from certain enemies here. So that's kind of cool. It's like a... You mess around with the, the dungeon and stuff. You fight a boss here. But then you can also make the next set here. I like that. Gives a second use for the dungeon. Right, okay. That paladin is just a pain, isn't it? Can my bees take care of him a little bit faster, please? Come on now, bees. Do your job. There we go. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, I've got a hope for Bloodstone, essentially. I've got to hope that I get a lot of it. So I can make a lot of armor. Because <laughs> I don't know which ones drop it and which ones don't. But it's kind of cool to have my two summons on. Do I have two summons at the minute? I should do, right? Never mind. Okay. 
Right. Okay. Right, that's a sniper rifle. I don't necessarily need a sniper rifle. How much bloodstone have I got? I've got seven pieces of bloodstone. So bloodstone seems like it's kind of hard to come by, if I'm honest. I've got 18 pieces of phantoplasm, though. So that is enough to make a new weapon. But I wonder how much bloodstone I'm actually going to need. I, I imagine it's quite a lot, to be honest. I imagine passing up on the Zerg potion is probably a bad thing. Let's buff up again. Let's use my last remaining Zerg potion and see if we can keep it under control this time. Okay, Bone Lee, get out of here. Bone Lee's a tough. Okay, let's see what happens here. I thought this would be the perfect weapon to use, by the way, just because it bounces around so much. But then again, I'm getting so much damage done to me. If I don't make it... I, oh my god, what's a poltergeist? What is a poltergeist? You're joking me, right? What is that? Why have I got a poltergeist and why is he, why is he here with me now? Is he on the map? Da, 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 da. What is that music about? Everyone's going to know what that music is, and I'm going to say a different thing. There's a theme park in the UK, and when they do adverts, it has that music. What is that music? <laughs> I imagine it's something really classical. <laughs> there you go. There's something for you all to think I'm a moron about, without a doubt. <laughs> so yeah, you can have two. Oh, you can have three? Oh, I can have three. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, because of my armor. Look at that. Learning something new every day. Right, so... I'm going to wait a second and see if I can make the weapon first. So let's double check what this weapon's made of. It's made of phantoplasm and a twisting never. But you make it at a Dryden's Forge. Ah, right. I don't have one of them. Dryden's Forge is made of a lot of things. Cosmolite. Right, okay. You need... <laughs> Right, you need the Cosmolite to make the Dreadon's Forge to do this. Alright, okay, that's kind of... Oh, that kind of sucks. So what about Bloodstone? I bet it's like Bloodstone. You can make Bloodstone now, but then you can't craft it anywhere. I can make one piece of Bloodstone. or well, two pieces. But I'll just show you what Bloodstone makes you. It's actually kind of cool. So if I get rid of these... So, you get Bloodstone... Actually, you know what? You can do a lot with it. Cool. Yeah, and look, so there's a little mage thing. A, uh, a sanguine flare. Pretty cool. A sanguine. <laughs> and then this is magic as well. A magic sword, essentially. The more tiles and enemies the beam bounces off or travels through, the more healing the beam does. Now that's really cool. You only need four for that. So how many... Um so we only need two more pieces of bloodstone to essentially get that. Right, I'll go get that now, guys, and I'll, and I'll be right back, because that seems really, really cool. Right, guys, so another little jump cut. This is actually where you get bloodstone. So I was getting a few in the dungeon, wasn't I? I, was p I picked up, like, two or three. That's probably because it was kind of like picking up the biome or something, but this is where you get it, so this is where we can farm stuff out, because I feel like tomorrow we'll make, like, a full set of everything. Just to, uh, to test it all, because I feel like that's going to be a great upgrade. But I'll go back now. I'll make two more cores. And then I can make a new weapon over here, which is the Vesera. 649 magic damage, 34% critical strike chance. And uh, the more things you think, the more things you hit, the more you heal. Okay, so this is cool. So we try... Uh Let's try this boss up here again. Let's bring it down onto here. Okay, let's see what let's see what happens when we uh, keep using it. So, are we being healed or what? No? Or is it does it have to bounce off a tile to heal you? Oh, it does. I get it a little bit. It's not working now though. Okay, I'll try it here. So there you go. Do you see I'm being I'm being healed a little bit? So this seems like the perfect weapon for the dungeon, if I'm honest. Oh my god, you know what? You know what I'm gonna try and do? Okay, I'm just gonna run away from this guy because he will eventually leave, so. 
I'm going to go to the dungeon. I'm going to try this out. And I'm going to activate the boss and see what happens. And see if I can uh, do anything. So today has been a real learning experience in reality, hasn't it? Like, I'm, I'm trying to learn a lot. New the cyborg. Is it still there? All right, okay. It is coming for us. Nice. Hello, Stormweaver. Goodbye, Stormweaver. I've outrun it before. That's the funny thing. It's meant to be outrunnable, but it is. It is outrunnable. Okay, let's go and try and fight it in here. Right. Bring it down into here. And then get it to bounce around a corridor. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, come on. Come down into here. Okay, let's fill up my mana. Come on, then. Come down into here. Did this do anything? Okay, maybe not. All right, maybe that was a stupid idea. Right, well, I'm going to end today's episode there, guys. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for the amazing amount of likes you've been leaving recently. We started the first one as kind of like a funny goal, and we beat it. And then you guys left 2,000 likes yesterday, so that was insane. It was really close to 3,000. So thank you all very much. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.